Ja. How's it going guys? As you saw from uh, that first video clip, uh, I went to an estate sale this afternoon and I don't know too much about comics. Uh, I know a little bit and this was probably the greatest score I'll ever come across. Uh, once I say that though, next week I'll find something uh, just as good. Just never know. Uh, but that was a professionally run estate sale and uh, those comics I picked up were $2 a piece. Uh, first, we'll do a wristwatch check, and this is that uh, Boulevard Accutron I got last week at, for a dollar at the uh, church sale, and got the battery and it runs perfectly. At that sale, uh, these watches I picked up, they were $2 a piece from the estate sale. have a 57 Boulevard a Mechanical. Again, these were $2 a piece, so that's probably at least a $50 watch right there. So basically that watch pays for everything I bought today. At that estate sale, I spent $54, so everything I'm going to show you cost $54. have a Hamilton Electric. This is gold filled. Just a parts piece, but uh, pretty desirable. And a Dunhall Imperial watch. It's uh, missing the crystal, but is running. Again, two dollars. And I just picked this up. It's a uh, old Texas Instruments digital watch. Again, two dollars worth picking up. So, like I said, uh, the comics. This is just a uh, incredible score. If you guys know anybody that likes comics. Probably want to shoot them over in, uh, to this video. But the box was marked $2 per comic. And I just went through a couple of them. I saw there were 10 and 12 cents. I just basically pulled out all the superhero and uh, monster type comics. I left the Archie and the cartoony comics behind. Uh, they didn't, I don't know much about those. Uh, I probably should have bought them all, but I. What I got, I'm really happy with. But like I said, these this was a professionally run estate sale, so uh, don't get on me about, you know, I ripped the people off, whatever. Uh, this is a private company that did this, and that's what they priced these at. So uh, $2 for all these comics, and I'll just go through these real quick. Uh, if you guys see anything uh, that stands out, let me know. <clears throat> But Carson's Inside Earth, uh, World's Finest, another 10 cent book uh, with uh, Batman and Robin. Another World's Finest, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number number 40. Obviously, I know these aren't in mint condition, but for two dollars a piece, who cares? Uh, Marvel Tales. And a lot of kind of oddball type comics, uh, Mystery in Space, Mystery in Space. I'm trying to be very careful with these. Uh, don't want to damage them. Adventures into the Unknown, World's Finest with uh, Superman, Batman, and Robin. World's Finest. Thor 129. And Avengers number 32 looks to be in uh, fairly decent shape. Mystery in Space, a 10 cent comic. Amazing Adventures. Looks like that's uh, number four. Then two number ones of uh, 3D Heroes. And there's a Sheena 
number one in there. I think those are from the 80s. Like I said, I grabbed all the uh, this type of stuff. Uh, unexpected. Has a dinosaur on it. Another mystery in space. Unexpected. Ventures into the unknown. Challengers of the unknown. Like I said, I haven't looked uh, only a few of these up, so if you guys see anything that stands out, let me know. And Amazing Fantasy Adult. So as far as I know, those are not the elite ones, uh, but if I miss something, guys, let me know. But these uh, five books I'm going to show you guys are just uh, outstanding. Again, not the, in the greatest of shape, but like I said, for $2 a piece, I have uh, Justice League of America, number one. So the cover is pretty rough. It has some uh, bends in the corners. But I'll probably end up sending these in to get graded because they're such uh, rare books. Justice League of America, number one. Then I have Justice League of America, and this is number three. Again, the cover needs some assistance, but it looks like it might be all there. Justice League of America, number three. Now, Fantastic Four, number three. And then what I think are the two best books, I have Fantastic Four and the first appearance of the Black Panther. And I want to touch this as little as possible. I know, I know they need to be bagged and boarded. I don't have, like, I'm not a comic book person, so I don't have any bags and boards with me. I have to buy those tomorrow. But just an outstanding find. And then I was going through the books, and then I, I saw this one. I could not believe this book was in there. Tales to Astonish Groot, first appearance, 10 cent comic. But uh, I can see the top corner there is uh, creased. But not too terrible condition. Again, I don't I don't, don't know how to grade these books. Uh, if you guys can give me some assistance. Uh, obviously, I'm going to send this in to get graded. Uh, I think I should grade a 2 or a 3. I don't know. But it looks like even a grade of 2 to 2.5 sells for almost $1,000. There's the back. So like I said, I don't know a ton about comics. I know enough to know what is good. And obviously for $2 a piece, it was a no-brainer. Like I said, I pretty much bought all the uh, comics she had. And again, I spent $54 on everything. So guys, remember if you like my videos, remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.